Hey guys, this is uh, Painting with Jack, and today I decided instead of painting, that I'm gonna go draw a landscape using pencils. So, we're gonna start off with drawing our first lovely rolling hill. So, you could say that this is more of the plains. So, we're gonna go redraw over that to give it its nice dark lines. And then, we're gonna go draw second hill over in the background. Here we go. Now on this first hill, what I planned on doing was drawing a nice uh, lovely tree. So what I plan on doing is making the wood like so. Trying to make it... Uh, no, that's not good. Uh, we're gonna go try and make it less straight so it could resemble the fine texture of the bark. Next we go and continue to go make what most trees have, which they split into two. Here we go. Oh, that was not good at all. We could go make a fine branch going up and a fine branch. Same with this guy. There we go. On this tree, we will have various branches just stretching out. In fact, let's go make this one with two little arms sticking out, I do it's called. Oh, yes, yeah, so I forgot to tell you guys this, but uh, for this drawing, it will only be black and white for I'm not a really big fan of the simple colors. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to go draw a few more branches sprouting out on these guys. See how that goes. little big, but it's no worries. Uh, this is going to be semi-challenge to go erase these branches, but we aren't aiming for perfection, but rather the very essence of the arts. It's not a good branch at all. We'll go erase the last one, too. Yeah, I'd say this would suffice. Maybe just add one more. There we go. So now, we'll be continuing on. We'll make finer branches on the larger. Yeah, let me go erase them. Finer branches on the much larger branches. So then we have a nice sense of how these all shape together. So, this will take quite a bit while I'm doing this. I guess I'll try and attempt it and go tell you what I'm thinking of doing with this picture. So, what I plan on doing is uh, continuing this picture off with a mountain background, kind of like Colorado. Such as if you were to always drive there, you'd see nice hills leading into great mountains. Anyone here has drove there. But anyways, uh, I also plan on trying to draw a stream. Not sure if I'll get there. But yeah, so I'd say that suffices. Now time to go draw leaves and such. This might be the hardest, but just like fill it in here and there. Make some main points everywhere. Of course, we are going to go do it like bottom fill around this, it's like shade it all in, so it looks like it's a full tree, you could say. But for now, we're just making sure that we get a good enough aspect of it all, I can see. Ah, I appeared saved, that's pretty nice, okay, so. As we're finishing up these, uh, not gonna lie, messy looking leaves. 
Uh, we're gonna go yeah on the shading. And once we reach the shading part of it all, then hopefully it'll look much cleaner. There we go. Now let's see here. If by chance there's a setting, it can make it bigger, but I'm not sure if I want that. That's not what I want either. Okay, we'll just leave it as it is. Let's see if we just make a nice shade it in like so. You may be wondering why I did the whole entire framework of the tree then. If not, you could see, you could see a nice background of the tree. It's the main purpose I did it. To go find the pure details I put into this, see? That's the main reason I did all that. So then, let's see here. We're going to go quickly erase that. Doesn't look good. There we go. Uh, I have to keep this short so I can actually help you. Okay, let's go start on the nice mountains background. Now, at such a distance, these mountains wouldn't appear so big, but rather more of a subtle, let's say, wave. So we're going to go have it just disappear in the background. There we go. And to go represent distance and all that, go just put lines. Kind of shows just prairie. Well, nah, not prairie, but you get what I mean. You, you can draw some more curvish lines to go represent hills. All that great stuff. So, let me just quickly clean this up. And we'll be moving on to the next. Next aspect, which would be, like I said, the nice rip right planted. So we'll just have a nice stream, you could say, just going down here, like such. Actually, no, I have a better idea. We have a real plan to have it going from here and kind of wrapping around the tree. Now that I look at this, it won't be so much so as a river. Small streams I'm trying to draw down. I'm going to go try and fill all of it in. It'll give it its, that lovely... Ooh, a little too slow. That nice, lovely... Watery sense. Nah, that's not good at actually. Okay. Yeah. Cross out on that idea, but rather we could draw much more, or we could keep it at this really, because you have the nice mountains in the background, the fine hills all over. Yeah, I, I guess I could uh, keep it at that. Yeah. So before I end it, I'll just add some like detail to the tree. The nice bark of it all. They have sometimes have holes where past branches have fallen off and would just dis disappear under all the leaves. So yeah, there we go. If uh, any of you guys uh, would like to see me color this in, probably wouldn't be the best idea for me. But if you guys would like to see it. Uh, please say so down below in those uh, lovely comments. So I'll leave a few likes, show your support. And uh, yeah, this has been Painting with Jack. And I will see you guys later.